and we're back with a cool spot. Uh, cool guys. Now, yeah, I'm rotating Ooh. around the Virgin, guys. I'm, oh, I'm you're doing this? this? Oh, yeah. And I played it on SNES specifically so I could do that. Because you use the L and the R buttons there. Interactive. Isn't that cool? Interactive mode 7. That's neat. That No, it's cool. It is cool. Uh, a couple of things I noticed right away. Sec- uh, first thing, uh, another Virgin game. We played a Virgin game a couple of weeks ago. That's because we're virgins. With uh, MC Kids, MC Cool and the Gang. I forget what it was called. Uh, Global De- Gladiators. Global Gladiators. Global Gladiators. Gladiators. Decent game. Watch will out. This- surf's up, cool spot. Will this be a decent game? I hope so, guys. I hope so for our sake. Uh, second of all, uh, in the in the intro screen, it said it was a uh, Dr. Pepper slash Sprite Corporation. Game is, does that still exist? Is 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 uh, Seven Up not Sprite? Seven Up is Seven Up its own thing? Is it or is it bottled by other? You know, I learned about this when I was a cashier at a grocery store. That in di- different parts of the country, either Coke or Pepsi own uh, the rights to distribute things like Dr Pepper. It's very strange. Uh, they, I think that Dr Pepper and Seven Up are third parties from Pepsi Cola Corporation and Coca Cola. And it depends on what area of the country you are that, like, you will probably get it from one of those two distributors. Information. That's wow. what you come here for. Wow. Riveting. Information. Wow. Did you know that uh, Sprite, which is, you know, Coca-Cola's answer to 7-Up, is actually just clear lemon Fanta rebranded? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Is it really? It's true. You know what? Uh, whenever anyone asks, I think I've made this joke on this Let's play before. I don't pod care. Play, I'm gonna make play. it again. Pod play. Uh, Keep calling it a let's play. It's a pod play. Yeah, nobody, you're like when confident? anyone when anyone asks me, do you want a Fanta? Yeah, yeah. Want to want to. I want a Fanta. I want a Fanta. No I after it, want what, a Fanta. How many times in your life has somebody asked you for a Fanta? Have or, they or, asked, or not me? asked you for asked you if you want? Oh, a Fanta. constantly. Because they know, they know that I'm a Fanta fan. I'm a Fanta fanatic. A Fanta fanatic. I am never. I could safely say I've never been in a situation in my life where somebody says, "Do you want a Fanta?" It has never come across. Yeah, right. All right. Now, the point of this game is to walk around as the cool spot, the Seven Up mascot of the late '80s, early '90s, right, and, and shoot Mr. Krabs uh, as played by Orlando Bloom. And you got to collect the uh, spots to become enough cool to <coughs> unlock the spot at the end of the level. Okay. You have to collect 60% cool. I would say that uh, in my life I've never been 60% cool. No, you've never think, been 1% cool. I think at peak, at peak I'm, I'm sitting at maybe, you know, 15, 20% cool tops. No, I, I that's wouldn't my, say 10. That's my peak. That's very I'm, liberal. That's very, yeah, opinion. it is. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Yeah. You know. You're very uncool. Let's name all the things that make you uncool. Yeah, go for it. Your so asthma. The- Asthma, yeah. The asthma. Did the you f- hear me coughing earlier in the video? Mm-hmm. That makes me uncool. Mm-hmm. The fact that you know what miasma is? Yep. Makes me uncool. The fact that you walk around with bowling shoes on all the time? I, I was actually talking about this yesterday. If bowling shoes had tread, I would wear them. Why? Because they're cool. <laughs> they're too toned. That is an example of why you're not even 10% cool. Uh, yeah, I- Let me get some books just so I can dump them for you. Oh, I can't believe you booked them. Book me. Now I gotta find the cage because I gotta got find Nicholas Cage. Now you guys don't know this because you're not cool enough. I'm the cool one out of the three. That's true. When you become sixty percent cool in real life, you gain access to a cage to unlock a cool spot. This happens in real life. Did not know there were multiple cool spots. There were are multiple noids. There are multiple mm-hmm. cool spots. Mm-hmm. And just like Izzy, uh, throwing it back, if you will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, cool spot started without arms and legs. And they gave him arms and legs. Well, he's just the spot in the 7-Up, goddammit. Yeah. Did he, like, float around as a legless, armless... Oh, a paraplegic, I guess, is the correct Yeah, he, uh, he wheeled around in a wheelchair. <laughs> he uh, had his sunglasses on still. You know, guys, maybe I'm not cool, but I think uh, this line of joking is just not appropriate. You know? People have feelings. Cool yeah. spot doesn't care, because he has a yacht. I, you know, I've generally find in my life people who have yachts tend to not care about the misfortunes of others. It's, it's an inherent in owning a yacht that you just don't give a shit. Yeah, no, yeah, about you're, you're the, right. the, the suffering. In you're the world. right. I think the only feelings that Cool Spot has are in his phantom limbs. So this is Cool Spot. It's an okay game. Uh, a lot of people love it. I, I, 
I, I had fun with my time with it. Good. So version delivers twice in a row. And, yeah. th- and that's the best you can do. I, I yeah, it's, it's very... Is that a glowing review? No. 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 no, no Are no. we ever going to give a, a game a glowing review? Probably, Probably not. not. No. Probably not. Why? We hate everything. Yeah. Right? Right. We are curmudgeons. Yeah. In the classical exactly. sense. Yeah. Uh, so, so a lot of people love this game, and I get it. You get, you uh, get, I played this game as a kid, actually. Did you? Did you yeah. love it as a kid? Yeah, I think I beat it on a rental. Okay. Blockbuster. Okay. Uh, rest in peace, Blockbuster. R.I.P. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I liked it as a kid. It, it's it's competent. It's varied. Levels are varied. That's the best thing we can say about a game, pretty much. It's competent. Yeah, it's... it's what, what, why? It's not going to change my outlook on anything. Uh, you're, you're, sitting in, you're sitting in the therapist office, right? Yeah. I, I do this because I'm not cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, cool people don't go to therapy. Uh... And, and she says, tell me about your childhood. And you say, well, I play a lot of video games. She says, well, what's your relationship with video games now? Uh, I hate them all. Right. Yeah. And, and let's, like, let's explore. She says, let's explore this. Mm-hmm. Okay. What, what do you say? What do you, 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 you know, why is our, our relationship with video games so complicated? I feel like I'm like, uh, like a video game addict. Okay. You know, like at this point, I'm playing them and I don't know why. Right. Like, I'm with I, I feel like I've, I've seen everything. Right. I played everything. And I really haven't. No, no, no. It's not no. fair to say, but. No. I don't know. It just, nothing excites me anymore. Nothing gives me. And so it's like, just like a sex addict, say, right? Right. Well, you get to a point where, like, just normal sex isn't enough. Right. You're like, you have I, to, like. Right, I assume. I've never had sex because I'm, I'm only 15% virgin. cool. Yeah, you're right. a virgin. Uh, so, um. But yeah, you have to have, like, like please put on these baseball cleats while we have sex. Right. Like, I'm at that point. Yeah. With video games. So, like. like what, it needs to be weird. What excited you when you were young, though? Like, what, what, what would. Like, what, what. What was what, what game did what was what was your first love in video games? <sighs> the first, there's no judgment here. There's no judgment here. The first video game I ever played was Metal Gear on the NES. No, no it's not. It, it is one hundred percent. No, it is. It is one hundred percent. You're a liar. And it's also the first video game my brother beat. I have no, I have, no, 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 he did. No, we could call him up. We could call him up. He beat Metal Gear. This is before the internet. No. It is, I have no idea how he did it. Now, question: Beating Metal Gear on the NES does that make you 100 percent cool or 0%? zero percent? Zero. It makes you zero percent cool. I'm sorry. sorry As someone guys. who's 15 percent cool, I, I look down on that in guffaw. Uh, no, no, no. I, I think you're wrong. So he I think it. he's uh, that. That makes my brother my hero. Because holy shit! Even today, I am, I am uh, something. Impressed. I am still impressed. I am X amount of years old, and I'm still impressed by that. Yeah, you're 42. It's a, it, t- honest, to be fair, you can go on the YouTube and see how old you are. It says on our page. Does it really? Yeah, it does. I just picked a random year. Well, yeah, sure I'm Easter pretty sure it was 1969. So anyway. Um, I think it was April 20th, uh, 1969. The first game that I played. I'm going to show my age here a little bit. Uh, combat for the Atari 2600. Cool. Yep. Uh, it was adequate. Adequate. I think even at the time, I was like, this is okay. Uh, is that your first love, though? You said no, 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 no. Well, we said that was the. F- you were asking about the f- first game. I what asked about first, first love. love. Okay. First love was probably like a, your first girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, my first love was probably uh, you know if I say uh, Super Mario Brothers, that's going to be a cliche answer. So probably like Mega Man, like okay. Mega Man Two. Okay. Which is funny because we did a Mega Man Let's Play earlier in our career, and we we did when a pretty we good job. Now we're that. in the majors, right? <laughs> But, but uh, I'm trying to think of, like, what, what blew me away. Um, yeah, it's probably Mega Man, sadly, this, 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 as uninteresting as that is. It's a pretty, pretty generic answer for a, a, a video game nerd. Yeah. It, First, mine? Chrono Trigger. Okay. So mine was, like, later in the is, career. Yeah, much later. So, like, I, I, you're talking about, like, something that blew me away. It was Chrono Trigger, because I played that game, like, you get to do the New Game Plus. Uh-huh. I played through that uh, so many times that I tried to get double stars for all the characters, including the crappy ones, which is Robo. Right. Uh, what are you talking about? My... He's great. He's great. And in order no, to do that, right, you need right. to play through, like, the entire game, like, multiple times, and I think I did it, like, maybe 20 times. Oh, nice. When you're a kid, you just have, like, all this free time that... That's incredible. And, yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's almost like that's how I feel about Cool Spot. It's like, yeah, I'm playing through it, but Listen, why... <laughs> I think I'm the one who 
really reveals the least about uh, myself, mostly because I barely ever talk during these. Uh, the thing is <laughs> and that... And yet you're the one that does all the work. Right. And yeah. the thing Huge about me... For you. The thing about me is that, like, I don't play a lot of video games, but when I do play one, I obsessively play it. Like, I believe I had 500 hours in Team Fortress 2. Yeah. Like, about a year after it was released. And, like, I had, like, a maximum kill streak of 40 with a soldier. Holy uh, shit. So, like, <laughs> again, like, I don't, like... Play. A t- I'm not. Br- no, I'm not. Bragging. I'm not bragging here. I'm just trying to get a feel for like when I really like something, I become like insane with it. You do. It's true. That's that's why you've stalked all your ex girlfriends. Yeah. You stand outside their window. Yep. It's certainly off the wall. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, of course. No, yeah, you do obsess over. It. Like I, you play Bioshock like a dozen times. I'd say more so. Right. That's true. I like, have. It's like obsessive over something that's just in your wheelhouse when it resonates where i i I, never understood the term wheelhouse like what is a wheelhouse and why is it that when something's in it that means that it's great well it's a house where they keep the wheels right it's not not wagon wheels it's wheels of cheese Mm -hmm. because who was who won't just like vibe out on a wheel of cheese what's your these these mice in the video game maybe Uh, but um Favorite is that true? Is it... A ch- a- no, I'm oh. lying. I'm lying. Hmm. Basically, anything that I say... Uh, you know, we've been friends for a long time now. So I, I think I should probably tell you this after all these years. Everything I say is not true. What? Everything, <laughs> everything I... Is- You're not the king of Japan? No. What? No, I'm not. I'm not even sure Japan has a king. I'm only like 70% sure Japan has a king. Yeah. Yeah. But you are... Nine percent cool. Right. No, that's true. That's seventy percent sure. That's there's no, fact. No that is fact. Uh, yeah, you you obsessively play games, Judge. Uh, yeah. I I digest games. I was gonna say we all we all sort of. I th- think you can learn a lot about a person about what what video games they obsess over or uh, digest. Or Chris, what would you say that uh, if you had to go to your video game of all time? Uh, uh the, the, my first love is Contra. Mm-hmm. And Tech Mobile, right? I know it's two weird ones, but not or Tech Mobile is a weird one, but mm-hmm. uh, Contra. I, I obsessive over over. Uh, what do you call that? Red pants and blue pants. Exactly. Huh? Obsessive. No, just just perfecting something. Right, and I, I think obviously ah. the the one that we're working on now, you're working on now. I, I his, his, Spelunky. Spelunky. I have literally played 112 hours of Spelunky. He's not, he's not joking. And I also played like 100 hours of it on PC. Yeah. When I, I'm playing on Xbox now, but it, I, I don't know why. I like random chance. I like pinball a lot. It's... It, uh, yeah. We've been real today. Yeah, no, I like this. This is a, this, this is a this change is, of pace. This I think is, this, is, this is interesting. The cool spot really brings it out, because... I, I mean, I, there's not a ton to and, talk about. And I guess that's that's the evolution, right? I played Cool Spot as a kid. Right. It seems boring now because it's not random. Right. Nothing is random about Cool Spot. It's like, oh, I'm going to go up here. There's going to be a mouse. Like, I, I want the mouse to be in a different spot every time. Right. Because I'm playing Spelunky now, so I'm just jaded. Right. And so it's like, I can't get excited about Cool Spot, but it definitely was a, a piece of, when I played this as a kid, that informs my... My worldview now. Right. Me liking this game as a child. So, uh, you know. I don't know what to say about Cool Spot, I guess. No, I, say. I, I mean... It's I, like, I don't know what to say about this This is game. kind of the problem with uh, Ever Gaming Darlings. And we ran into it maybe a little bit with Shex. Have we shown Shex yet, though? I think that we will have. Um, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's the fact that, let's be honest, people respond more to negativity than they do to positive things. It, mm-hmm. It's... It's, it's why things like the Angry Video Game Nerd and Nostalgia Critic are popular. Right. If you sit here like, oh, this game's great, this game's great. So what? So what? <laughs> it's, yeah. I... Let's be real. And I'm not, I'm not doing this. Like, oh, fucking cool spot. It's a good game. What do you say about it? It's a it's a platformer. It's it, a platformer. It's a platformer. It's a, it's a, it doesn't want to make me like end my life like a lot weird. of the ever games have. Right. Yeah. It's it's got good music. It's got music. It seems competent. Um, right. Again, that's like about the nicest thing. Color palette's say. good. Color pal- palette is uh, is good in this level. I think spots uh, blends into the background a little bit, but that's true. That's not terrible. The question: is, Would it be forgettable if it w- was not Seven Up? Well, well, that's that's the thing. Like. Uh, how they do with the yo but, noise? But why, like, why do people gravitate towards the Seven Up spot? It's like a really stupid character. So, like, <laughs> why did I, as a child, 
I, like, did, I don't He's think that I ever really cared. You know what? Though, I, I honestly, I do remember like wanting to play this game. I never played this game as a kid, but I remember wanting to play it, and it was probably because it was actually a cool spot. I'm not even sure I really liked Seven Up. Man, that's the thing, isn't it? It got good reviews. I went back and looked at some reviews from back in the day, like the Game Pro or whatever magazines existed. Yeah, they were like eight out of tens and stuff. Really? Yeah. I mean, and like it probably is pretty fair, normal review for the time. I, I do we know what year this came out in? Was uh, that ninety three? Ninety three or four? I don't know. I'm not so like that was positive. that was a little bit after Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. That yeah. that was another one that I got uh, obsessed with. Mm-hmm. I actually this is this is gonna make me sound like a crazy person. I, but like, well, to be fair, most things that we have said. But this, this is like point, a legitimate, like crazy person thing. This is real talk today. Real talk. Real talk. We uh, today this is in in the game. You have uh, four levels of swords, right? And every time I played through it, I can only get to the red sword, which is the second, you know, to last. It's the penultimate sword, right? Mm-hmm. And I could not figure out how to get the other sword. Because I remember seeing, like, artwork or something with it, or, like, a screenshot with Link with a golden sword. I'm like, how do you get this? And for some reason, it never occurred to me to check a fact. But, like, I had a dream, right, about throwing it into the swamp. And that made me think that maybe I could throw it where the fat fairy uh, gives you the, the, the golden arrows, the silver arrows. And that's exactly how you do it. That's weird. It's really weird. It's kind of creepy, and it reminds me of like people that don't believe 9-11 wasn't an inside job. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's pretty pretty weird. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. It, that's kind of weird. I, <laughs> it's not weird, though. It's, it's kind of why you love that game, right? The mysteries. So, the mysteries. So, well, That's yeah. why I love Spelunky. It's like I, I discover new Spelunky things. Spelunky is a mystery time. every time, though. It's, it feels like a mystery. Like 110 hours, something new has happened to me. Now, I'm generally supportive of Spelunky. Uh, I can't play Spelunky. Yeah, you're terrible at it. I'm really bad. Yeah. Um, Watching Chris play Spelunky is probably it's, better than playing Spelunky. Yeah. Like you're, you're really good, Chris. Thank you. You're really good. Um, is that the end of this video, or do we have more? No, we have more to go? one more level, sure. fellas. I know okay. it's long. Uh, I don't know. The levels are varied. Though. Are you going like, to fall off trying to yeah, get into no, a boat see, again? Yeah, I can understand. Like, I mean, when you compare this to even um, the global Disney gladiators, global game, gladiators, yeah. Um, they're really switching it up, at least. Like that. That's a nice touch. Right? Yeah, so it's like I can't justify cutting anything. Right, and, and yeah, but like the gameplay doesn't get any more exciting. In global gladiators, we cut a ton. Yeah, yes. we I took literally the butcher knife it. to it. Yeah, yeah. cut forty minutes off of it. Right, this word we're, we're just we got we got like another two videos of this, right? It probably is. It, okay, it's I mean if they want to see the rest. Yeah, they want to see the rest. Yeah, I, see the rest. Is is cool spot just gonna be our real video? Like every time we do a cool spot, it's just gonna be. It's real talk with cool spot. Real talk with cool spot. Should we do that? Yeah, I, I think mean, that's a good idea. I think that's maybe. A I mean, thing well, to well do. actually, the story's gonna hate this. Are the walls gonna come down? I don't, maybe. Right, is it, it's like let's get real. Let's Here, talk about all right, cool here's spot. the worst possible thing that can happen: is the thread will be like, "Oh, we like you guys being real," and then we're gonna have nothing to talk about for the rest of our lives. We, honestly, we, we, we could be screwing ourselves here. I don't know. Maybe it's the whole possible. the whole yeah. facade could come down. Let's keep, let's continue to get real. Okay, sounds good. So, all right. So what game is a game that you obsess over? over so, um, I don't know. Because again, I don't... There was a point in my life where I was I did uh, a lot of the, the MMOs, but I really dislike them now. I, like, I, I dislike them intensely. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I did the... Why I did, do you dislike I did, them intensely uh, now? World, uh, I obviously did World of Warcraft. I, I cut that because I had to walk all the way back here. Okay. Uh, Everyone did World of Warcraft. I was, I was big in, uh, into the first ever quest, and uh, my first MMO that I ever played was Dark Age of Camelot, and I got really into that. Um, those games, obviously, they know what they're doing in that they are uh, they they are built to make you obsess over them. Mm-hmm. So you want to be you want to be the best gear, you want to be the best guy, you know. It's it's a, a you know. You're right about that, and then like I think that there's something wrong with my brain because I know that that's the case. But those are the games that like I quickly like do not get obsessed over. Well, and, and that's too. that's that's it's how really I am weird. now. But there was a there was a long time that I was really obsessed with those type of games. Huh. I've hmm. actually got 
a pretty hilarious story. If we oh, have, we don't nope, have time. Nope, time. Next, next, next time. time. Bye, Next everybody. time, guys. Real talk. Real talk. Cool spot. It was weird. It was a weird one.